Welcome back YouTube. In this video, I'm going to give you a short preview of the new Skylum Luminar Neo photo editing software. So I have it launched here. Now this is a pre-release version of the software and they do give you a number of um, sample photos with it. So if I go back here to this all photos, there we go. And you can see this is a sample. I really like this one, lots of color. Uh, let's see here. And this one's one of their sample photos. There we go. It's a little bit slow when I'm switching from here. This one's one of mine that I took up in New York State during one of our vacations. Uh, this is another one of their sample images. That's a real portrait of this young lady. Um, but I have some of my other images here. Now, let's look at the editing tab for Luminar Neo. And you'll see all the tools we have down the right hand side. You got crop tool, you got develop, enhance, erase, structure, color, black and white, details, you got denoising, you got landscape specific stuff, vignetting. And then under your creative section, you have relight, you got sky AI, atmosphere AI, you can add sun rays. So let's say just as an example, let's go back here and get one of my Let's get one of the landscape images here. Um, just for giggles. Let's all right. Well, let's grab this one here. All right. So we're going to grab this image and let's go back to the edit tab and let's go down to sun rays. I'm just curious as to how this looks. Now I haven't played around with this software a whole lot. So you're kind of getting a look at it as I'm checking it out. So I'm kind of sharing with you, uh, my viewers exactly you know, what I'm going through as I look at this software. Now I'm trying to see sun rays. I would think it says place sun center, but oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now, again, this is a pre-release version of the software. So that might be why it's a little bit buggy and slow. Uh, but then once you set the center, you can change the amount. Uh, you can change the overall look. It doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot right now. But again, like I said, this is still a pre-release version. So that's why this is just a preview video. This is not, there you go. And it finally caught up. So yeah, uh, on my M1 Mac, MacBook Pro, it shouldn't be this laggy. So I'm attributing that probably to the fact that it's still uh, pre-release software. It's not a finished product as of yet. Uh, no word on when it will be a finished product. So we were able to add some sun rays, which is pretty cool. Um, then you got dramatic, you've got moody, you've got toning, you got matte looks, uh, mystical glow, and then film grain. And for portraits, now that's all under creative. And then under portraits, you have skin, you can do high key. Uh, so let's see if we can go back and grab one of the portraits and maybe switch one of those to high key just to see what it looks like, see how well it works. So let's take this one here. And we'll go back to the edit tab and we'll go down to high key. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn this up a little bit. Oh, there you go. So yeah, that does work. Oh yeah, quite a bit. You can see it as I move the slider. So it does work quite a bit. That works pretty nicely. Um, and then of course, under professional, you have super contrast and you have color harmony. Um, where you can change the brilliance and the warmth and stuff like that. Now, what's different between Luminar Neo and the current Luminar AI? Because I have AI. I've been using Luminar's or Skylum software since back in the day when they were called MacFun. So I've been using their stuff for a long time. We have Luminar AI and see what the differences are between the two. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe the new Luminar Neo is supposed to be more like a Photoshop substitute. Uh, I'm not going to say that's a definitive thing, uh, but I believe that's what it's for. So under essentials in AI, you've got the auto enhance, you got composition, erase, light, structure, color, black and white, details, denoise, landscape, vignette. So you have some of the same items in both softwares, but not all of them. There's some that only AI has that, that the new Neo does not. Now, whether or not they're done adding all the editing tools to Neo, I don't know. Again, this is a pre-release version. So I'm just sharing this with you. 
Now, under creative between the two, they both have Sky AI. You got augmented Sky under Luminar AI, but not under Neo. You've got Atmosphere. You do have Sun Rays under both. You've got Dramatic. You've got uh, Mood. You've got Toning. You've got Matte, um, Mystical, Glow, and Film Grain. But under Portrait with Luminar Neo, or AI, I'm sorry, excuse me, you actually have more items under Luminar AI for portrait editing. So you got portrait, portrait, blah, 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 portrait bokeh, you got face, skin, body, and, and high key. And then under professional, you have optics, super contrast, color harmony, dodge and burn, and clone. So it does look like Luminar AI has more editing tools than Luminar does. Now, and will Neo have more stuff once they put out the finished release that I do not know yet. But like I said, this was just a preview video to give anybody out there that was curious an idea of what Luminar Neo is going to look like. Um, again, this is a pre-release. They haven't indicated yet exactly when they're going to release the final version. So we'll all just have to wait and see on that. But it is a uh, pretty neat software. And again, I attribute to its uh, lagginess and stuff like that to the fact that it's still a pre-release pre version because it's really weird. When I first downloaded it on my uh, M1 Mac Mini and opened it up and I was playing around with it a little bit, it didn't seem to lag. Uh, but on my M1 MacBook Pro, it is a little bit, which is kind of weird because they're both M1 processor. They have the same amount of RAM and the same size solid-state hard drive. So uh, I'm going to chalk it up to the software because my Luminar AI runs great on both of them. And of course, that's a release edition of their Luminar software, uh, the, uh, the AI software. So, but that's it. That is a quick sneak preview of what Luminar Neo is going to offer once Skylum releases it. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe to the channel like the video, comment on it, share them out on social media, hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when new content drops, and I will see you all next time.